A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare A Double Track Learning Centre G8 Production Dramatis Persona These are the cast of the book. The book was written about 1593 and 1594. The, the Dramatis Persona include Theseus, Theseus is the Duke of Athens. Aegeus, Aegeus is the father to Hermia. Lysander and Demetrius are in love with Hermia. Philostrate is the master of the revels to Theseus. He is the MC of Theseus' uh, wedding. Quince, Quince is a carpenter. Snug is a joiner. Bottom is a weaver. Flute is a bellows mender. Snout is a tinker. Stavelin is a tailor. Hippolyta is a queen of the Amazons betrothed to Theseus. Hermia is a daughter to Aegeus who is in love with Lysander. Helena is in love also with Demetrius. Oberon is a king of the fairies. Titania is a queen of the fairies. Puck, who is also known as Robin Goodfellow, he follows Oberon. Peace Blossom, Cobweb, Moth, Master Sea are the other fairies. Other fairies also in attend the king and the queen. And the Theseus and Hippolyta also have attendants as well. It's important to recognize that this book consists of both humans and fairies. Fairies are small creatures that are believed to have the ability to turn themselves into one thing or another. Act 1, Scene 1 Summary and Synopsis In Act 1, Scene 1, Theseus and Hippolyta discuss their wedding, which is to take place in four days. Theseus sends Philostrate to round up entertainers to while away the time. Aegeus brings his daughter Hermia and her two suitors, Lysander and Demetrius, to Theseus to settle an, argue an argument. Hermia wants to marry Lysander. Aegeus wants her to marry Demetrius. Theseus gives Hermia three choices. Marry Demetrius, enter a nunnery, or be put to death for disobedience. Hermia has until the day of Theseus' wedding to come to a decision. Lysander and Hermia plan to meet in the woods the next night and a loop. Helena, who loves Demetrius, is a lover's friend. Decides she will tell Demetrius of their plans so she can be with him while he looks for Hermia and Lysander. Act 1, Scene 1 takes place at Athens, the palace of Theseus. Theseus. Now, fair Hippolyta, our nuptial are draws on apace. Four happy days bring in another moon. But, oh, methinks how slow this old moon wanes. She lingers my desires, like to a stepdame or a dowager, long withering out a young man revenue. Theseus reminds Hippolyta that in four days, in four days, the uh, wedding will be due. But Theseus believes that the days are not running, the days are running just too slow and preventing him from getting that which he desires as quickly as possible. He compares this situation to that of a young, a young, a young boy whose stepmother is refusing to die to enable him to get that which is his father left for him. Hippolyta Four days will quickly steep themselves in night. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. And then the moon, like to a silver bow, no bent in heaven, shall behold the night of our solemnities. Hippolyta encourages Theseus that, oh yes, the nights, the days, will soon turn to nights. And nights are usually shorter because they are the period for dreaming and they end so quickly. And once they turn to night, the days will end soon, and their wedding will happen. Theseus continues. Go, Philostrate, tear up the Athenian youth to merriments, awake the pet and nimble spirit of myth. 
ten melancholy forth to funerals. The pale companion is not our, is not for our pump. Theseus instructs Philostrate who the MC of his wedding to go all through Athenian, Athe, uh, to go to Athenian city and inform the people to start enjoying themselves. Your wedding was so close. He says there shouldn't be any sadness because sadness, sorrow, is only for funerals. So such situations, such emotions should not be encouraged for their wedding. With this, Philostrate exits and Theseus continues to speak. Hippolyta, I wooed thee with my sword and won thy love, doing thee injuries. But I will wed thee in another key, with pomp, with triumph, and with revelling. Hippolyta, remind, uh, Theseus reminds Hippolyta that yes, he won Hippolyta through the sword. Hipp Hippolyta is the queen of the Amazons who are warriors, and they had been won through the through war by Theseus and his people. But Theseus reminds him that despite that situation, he is going to wed her in pomp and pageantry in, be in a beautiful ceremony. With this, Edius, Hemia, Lysander, and Demetrius enter. Edius, happy be thee, Theseus, a renowned duke. Theseus. Thanks, good Edius. What's the news with thee? Edius. Full of vexation come I, with complaint against my child, my daughter, Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius, my noble lord. This man hath my consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander, and my gracious duke. This man hath bewitched him, the bosom of my, of my child. Thou, thou, Lysander, thou hast given her rhymes and interchanged love tokens with my child. Thou hast by moonlight at her window sung with feigning voice verses of feigning love and stolen the impression of her fantasy. With bracelets of, the, of thy hair, rings, gauze, conceits, knacks, trifles, nosegays, sweetmeats, messengers of strong prevailment in, a, in, in an hardened youth. With cunning hast thou frittered my, my daughter's heart. Ten her obedience, which is due to me, to stubborn harshness. And, my gracious duke, be it so she will not he will not hear before your grace consent to marry with Demetrius. I beg the ancient privilege of Athens. As she is mine, I may dispose of her, which shall be either to this gentleman or, according to our law, immediately provided in that case. A Jews comes in anger because her daughter Hermia refuses to marry Demetrius, who she who he the father wants to marry, to get married to. And so he comes to complain to the Duke. And he comes with both Demetrius and Lysander. And he accuses Lysander of bewitching his daughter by singing uh, by singing poems, by singing in eyes voices to the hearing of the daughter, to get the daughter, the daughter to fall in love with him. He said, the daughter, he says, Lysander, he says, Lysander had, had just been given to, uh, the daughter fantastic things that makes the daughter fall in love with him. And so he proposes to the king and if the daughter would not agree to marry that which he chooses for the daughter, then there are only two options. The daughter should die or agree to marry that which she, the father, has chosen for him, for her. Simply because in Athenian law, a child, a daughter, belongs to the father. And it is what the father chooses to do with the daughter that becomes of the daughter. And so whatever the father wants, that is what the daughter has to accept. And if he refuses, by the Athenian law, the, the father can instruct whatever should be done to the daughter. And in this case, if you disobey, one of the possible consequences could be death. So he proposes that by the Athenian law, if the daughter refuses to marry that which he has chosen for him, the daughter should die. 